It's not working? Okay, good. All right. Um, feathers and scales. This is Mr. Chioda here testing out these really handy dandy tripods that are part of um, teachers being able to record themselves and reflect on their teaching practice. So you'll be seeing me just like all your other teachers around the school. You'll be seeing us recording ourselves, teaching, and teaching other kids and learning and observing basically how we present ourselves in the classroom. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, these tripods are pretty awesome and I'm using my phone to record this rather than my laptop this time around because I'm just testing everything out. All right, today's lesson is pretty simple, guys. You're already dead set. You're already in the thick of things. You're in your dance groups. You're choreographing your short 30 second um, piece that will be included in the main dance. So this lesson is just all about experimentation writing in your reflective journals what worked, what didn't, as you work in your group to try and come up with some dance moves. Now, I have to quickly say this, and this is just a reminder for everybody, you need to be able to negotiate. One person may have a brilliant idea and they're so hung up on this idea and they really want to do it, but the rest of the group's like, oh, we're not so sure about it. And this person's obviously feeling left out. Part of negotiation is trying it out, see if it works and if it doesn't. So if one person in your group has got an idea and the rest of your group's kind of like not against it, it's kind of like, eh, I'm not too sure if I want to do this, try it out anyway. You might find out that this person's idea works better than the other ideas you were hoping for. So negotiate, talk together, experiment. You've got quite a few weeks to have this finished. So... You know, use this time to brainstorm and experiment, trial and error, okay? Don't think that you, what you've decided on the first time around is exactly how you're going to do it. The whole point of dancing and coming up with something and choreo choreographing your own dance pieces is to experiment. So if something doesn't work, don't keep trying to push and push and push until it does work, if it's really not going to work, okay? try experiment see what's going to work and it's got to be something that your whole group can do so if you've got some really crazy as flexible kid in your group that can do these weird body contortionist things and the rest of your group's like oh, i can't do that please be mindful of the abilities of your group members again this is where communication is key talking with your group members what sort of dance moves are you able to do which ones might you find difficult and come up with some unified approach to your choreography because you're also being assessed on timing, use of space, being able to work as a group. That collaboration thing comes up so often in the Australian curriculum for dance. So please make sure you're collaborating and working as a team because it will show if it's just one person doing it all or there are too many personality clashes and the your little dance number just falls flat because no one has talked through or helped each other out. It is so noticeable. So, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Obviously, I'm supervising when it's my class, but when you're doing it on your own with your classroom teachers, make sure that you're continuing that teamwork and keeping that focus going. All right, that's it from me for now. This is Mr. Chiotto signing off until next week. Bye for now.